especially like to welcome my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the content on my channel. Uh, I've had a couple of days off. I mentioned uh, in previously that I had to go and see the dermatologist and you may be noticing these dark marks here or these stitches where she removed a couple of things to send away and check for skin cancer. Again, paying the price for all that fun in the sun as a child. Now I was waiting on a couple of components, uh, one was a new set of pulleys and a belt for uh, to drive that uh, motor that, to move the magnet backwards and forwards. Well that's arrived, so follow me over to there and we'll have a look at them over there. Alrighty, so uh, these two bits showed up and they're not quite what I ordered because I ordered this with an 8mm hole in it and it showed up with a 5mm hole, they both both got five millimeter holes to fit these shafts or shaft um, so I'll have to bore that one and as I suspected it's going to hang down below there so uh, it will definitely have to hang out over the end uh, the other thing that's not what I expected was uh, it showed in the ad for it uh, a setup kind of like this just a small belt like that well the bloody thing showed up like this can't even fit it in frame look how long that damn thing is so uh, I do have a couple other belts here um, around that way and this is a 200 millimeter belt I think here it is Oh, I'm kind of hoping I can get away with it. It's, uh, it's pretty bloody short. Um, go on, get on there. Might be able to fit that in there. It uh, doesn't leave a lot of room for adjustment, but uh, I think I'll get away with that without having to buy another one. But anyway, so uh, I'll get it in the lathe and uh, bore that out to 8mm and see how we go. Well viewers, it's just as well I'm a couple of weeks ahead on my video production or you wouldn't be getting one this week because I've done nothing this week. Here towards the end of last week these DROs, the mini DROs that I ordered for the lathe showed up and I've spent the day to day fitting them up so they're all set up now. This, uh, I wish I could change this uh, X from negative to positive but anyway that's life. And And that, that thing runs in the negative too, which is a bummer, but anyway, that's life. I didn't have a lot of options where I could fit them up, but they're there now. But anyway, so I'll uh, get on, I haven't bought out that pulley yet, so I'll do that now. The other two, those two bearings, linear bearings are due here this afternoon sometime too, so I'll be able to get on with them tomorrow. Alrighty, so I can get away with that little belt, and it'll work out just good. So now I can figure out exactly where I need to uh, I can get two bolts in here. The other end, I was just speaking of, yeah, the other end should be uh, should be clear as well. So that's cool. So I'll go out and I'll figure out where all the bolt holes have got to go now, and mark them all up, drill them, tap them, do whatever I've got to do. I'll get all this thing bolted together and then try and work out some electricals for it. All the is, it's all bolted up. Uh, this end I've got to bolt this end up yet. I wanted to get that one bolted up because these bearings will pivot in there. I wanted to bolt one end up before I marked up the other end but I was just checking this and I haven't made a fitting for underneath yet for the lead screw nut but I'll just have a look at uh, how fast this runs and even at uh, this which is I had 4.7 volts or something like that that's uh, bouncing around a fair bit there I'll put a heavy lead on this it's getting really hot it's jumping all over the place about uh, 4 volts you used to be able to stop that pretty easily without pinching it up too much and that's spinning pretty fast I'd reckon that would make that move pretty smartly across there so I might have to go to an even bigger pulley on here to slow it down some more no, well, we'll see once we get that nut on there uh, we'll see how fast that moves at that sort of revs and whether I can pull it there I'll just stop it that's 4.3 volts but like I said this lead's getting a bit hot so I might put a heavy lead on it alrighty these two bearings showed up late yesterday afternoon as I said they were Jute. and as I suspected the bearings are absolute rubbish check this out look at that rocking on there 
Complete garbage they are. Anyway, uh, I also, yesterday I ordered a, an 80 tooth pulley for here. That's a 60. But I lined in bed last night thinking that won't slow down much probably. So I thought what I might do is I think I've got another one of these 200 tooth belts. What I might do is make like a little gearbox here. So I drive this a 20, 20 to a 60, it's a 1 to 3. And then put got another 20, a 20 to an 80. And just reduce the hell out of it. Should get me uh, what I'm chasing. So anyway I'll get this off now and uh, push these bearings out of these things. Swap them over and get them fitted up and make up a, uh, a bracket for the for the nut and we'll see just how fast this actually moves with it set up like this far out check this out uh, bearings in these things are meant to be pressed in there the press fit what happened there it fell out look, look at this well, you can see it they're not even machined in there you still have the cast finish inside like i said for a dollar but anyway, you get what you pay for, didn't you? Well, viewers, uh, I don't know if this is too fast. Maybe an 80 tooth pulley will be okay because this has turned up 14 and a half volts. I don't really know whether, know, know whether that's too fast or not. Probably it's a little hard to tell until you can actually see it running backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. I think I'll have to put some uh, little bits of rubber or something in the ends here so that they don't bash into the ends here. I'll give you one more look at that, just swapping the terminals over at the moment. So yeah, I'm not sure. Alrighty, so that 80 tooth pulley showed up yesterday afternoon, you can see it's, it's quite a bit bigger than that uh, 60 which I've now got up the end, other end just using as a spacer at the moment. That was a retainer so I can make one up. Obviously this little 200mm belt won't do the job but I've got a 3 and I suspect a 250 would probably be the go but that's the same size I ordered for the, uh, the grinder and I had to get that from China because it wasn't available locally so I'm not waiting another week for one of them so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just use the two bolts holes I, I put in here and bolt on a little extension piece bolt the motor under that uh, getting the motor out there should also um, solve a little bit of a problem I was sort of foreseeing with the, this cable come in from the side and have to work its way around this motor all the time now I'll be able to make up a little cover so that it sits over the top of this belt and just slide straight in and out with it kinking and eventually breaking the wires off. You may have noticed a little video I put up yesterday asking for some help because I was having a hell of a time figuring out how to uh, wire up these limit switches to make the thing go backwards and forwards. And uh, a guy popped up, an electrical engineer in the States, who has very generously offered to do me up a schematic and tell me how it all works. But he did tell me that uh, I was going to need three of these. So I ordered another two yesterday and they should be here with a bit of luck this afternoon and I should have his schematic later today so this is all starting to come together now so while I'm waiting I'll get all this done and uh, make something up to uh, to get all these get these switches mounted so that uh, once I can get them wired up we'll get the thing functioning in the way it should you'll have to excuse the bodgy wiring just a quick test to see how quickly this will pull up when it hits the switch perfect still need to put a little bit of rubber or something in here I think stop it going bang when it hits the end well viewers, uh, the last four days can best be described as a, uh, a marathon. I have to be eternally grateful, engineer Wrecker, for getting me through this process because there's no way I would have got it to work without him. Uh, what's in here is quite complicated. There are three DPDT relays in there that control the forward and back motion of this. I'm not going to turn it on and show you because at the moment, even with this 80 tooth cog on here, it just flies up and down there to the point where uh, it doesn't have time for these switches to activate properly and it just smashes into each end to the point where it will actually blow that cog off there it'll push this one and here back i mean that's only there as a retainer at the moment what i'm going to have to do is grind some flats on on this shaft uh, so that i can clamp these things on properly because uh, they just won't hang on to this well enough i have i've ordered a speed controller that to control this motor slow it down uh, there is one built in up in my 12 volt control box up there but these relays once they get below 12 volts they won't work properly so i can't can't just dial the voltage down so uh, i was hoping that to get here yesterday it's supposed to be in later today sometime so i'll get that all fitted up in the meantime i'll get this uh this bit made up to put under here machine up a retainer for this end and then we're just about done so, uh, and I'll get all everything, all these fit back up. I've also picked up a couple of uh, little inline on-off switches to put one in this uh, up in the, to turn the grinder wheel on and off. 
because the outlet up on the box won't allow me to turn it on and off and uh, I want to put one in this line for the magnet as well turn it on and off without turning everything else on and off but anyway we're getting there nearly done well viewers more bloody Chinese rubbish I bought this uh, diamond stone to dress the wheel up with a diamond dresser first pass under there very light it's hardly touching it half it broke off so I went back out we ended up in a little bit more but nearly all the way across the whole bloody thing came out I reckon it's not even diamonds it's probably a piece of glass it was yellow it's probably a bit of yellow glass they've shoved in there and called it a diamond what a bloody joke oh well shit happens and it seems to be happening an awful lot on this build well viewers when I order stuff online here now from that Lazada crowd as soon as I see who the delivery partners are and you don't get to see it until after you've ordered it there's one in particular called Kerry that when I see that I go well I won't be seeing that anytime soon well this thing finally arrived that's a little speed controller it's a tiny little thing I'll talk more about that in a minute tracking said it left Bangkok at 11:30 p.m. on Tuesday night today's Saturday arrived here late yesterday afternoon or Friday afternoon it's only 120 kilometers to Bangkok and that's unbelievable they come down overnight delivered next day but these morons took them three days to, to get it down there and deliver it to me just unbelievable they are just hopeless it's got too big for their britches not a Thai company it's a Hong Kong based company anyway you can see uh, how long this is all taken this is all going rusty on me sitting around here now this thing here uh, it said it's rated to 10 amps, tiny little thing like that. I mean, the whole time I had this other one sitting in the cupboard, but I wasn't sure what that was rated to, so I didn't try that. And there was another one that I have. I, I hooked up. As soon as I hooked it up, I turned it on and started smoking, so I turned it off again. But we'll see how this one goes. Uh, on another note, I don't know why I've been mucking around with these little 8mm things. I forgot I bought this thing a while back. It was on special I just grabbed but that's a 12 millimeter shaft but it's only it's 500 mil long so if I cut it in half it had only you know, it'd come to about, about where that one is I suppose so I could have used them would have made it much more rigid but anyway if it uh, gives me too much trouble I'll switch it over to these there was a big one day sale on the Lazada yesterday and I ordered three more bearings to fit that so push comes a shove I'll change it over to that but anyway we'll get this damn thing fitted and see how it goes well far out and unreal banana peel uh, turned it on, table started to move, it hit, the, it hit the limit switch on the end, smoke started pouring out of this and it's actually even melted this bloody switch here. So much for uh, these little motors, I looked it up online it said the maximum current draw for them was 4 amps. I think it's considerably higher than that somehow. Well, right, back to the drawing board. Alrighty, I can hear a few of you screaming at, the, at your screens, why didn't you fuse it? Including engineer Wrecker who had a fuse in this and his diagrams and I didn't use it. I have two options, I think. One to do what I suggested earlier and make a gearbox uh, to reduce the, the speed, which is a lot of stuff in the round. Or introduce two cables into this power box, in, into this box. So one will just be uh, an ungoverned 12 volts to make the relays run and the other one would be using the speed controller that's up there in that box. That's, that's what's running everything. There's a speed controller in there. At the moment, I'll, I'll show you. I've got it hooked up to, to the uh, grinding wheel at the moment. And I can control that quite nicely. So, I think that might be my better option, actually. I'll try that out first, before I go mucking around making these bloody gearbox. Well... That didn't work, so it looks like it's either a gearbox or find another motor. I was hoping to do to make this with things that I had on hand and not spend too much money. So it's either order a geared down motor and run and use that, or maybe go and buy a, another one, another windscreen wiper motor and try and use that, but they're a bit cumbersome. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll turn this on, I'll show you just how fast this is running, and that does actually work. If you watch the screws here, you'll see it change directions. So you see it does work, it's just a matter of slowing the damn thing down. I don't know if I really want to go to all the trouble of making a gearbox here and find out that even that won't slow it down enough. I'm going to go away and sit down and have a think about this, it's nearly lunch time, so I'll have some lunch and think about it. But the thought process was pretty pretty smart, I, I decided I'd see if I could find one of, one of these Takanawa geared motors, which is what I used 
to, to power the cross slide on the lathe. And I found a crowd in Bangkok that's listing them at a reasonable price, so I've ordered one of them. Bit of luck, they'll get it away today, and I might have it tomorrow, providing they don't send it on bloody carry. What a difference a conscientious supplier with a decent delivery grip makes. I ordered that quite late yesterday afternoon. They dropped it off to a drop-off point at, uh, I think it was 10.22 p.m. last night, on a Saturday night. Hang on, what time is it? Let me see. It's nearly 20 to 1 on Sunday afternoon, and there it is. Not even 24 hours, and I've got it. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? Well, I'll get that fitted up, and we'll see how we go. Well, viewers, it's been a long time coming, but there it is. Going back and forwards all by itself. Uh, from memory, these things run at uh, 333 RPM, and they have an 8mm shaft, so I just knocked up a little 8mm coupling to, uh, to join the two together to see how it looked at uh, 333. It looks a bit slow, to be honest with you, so I might have to make up a bracket over here and just... Uh, go the opposite of what I was doing with the belts and put a smaller one here and a bigger one on there just to uh, just speed it up to maybe 500 RPM something like that but anyway finally got to this point and, uh, and I'm really happy about it well viewers uh, decided I would, would give this a whirl before I go spend any more time on it uh, despite this only being episode four, I've now been working on this for six weeks, and I'm honest with you, I'm getting a little tired of it. But anyway, uh, the whole thing was a proof of concept. You can see here, I've had a little run across here. It feels like crap, but I hope this hasn't been dressed after that diamond dresser broke on me. But anyway, uh, I thought I'd give you a look and show you just where it's at at the moment. It's not perfect, but uh, it'll do the job, I think. Well, I'd have to call that uh, concept proved. I have discovered there's a bit of play in here, so that probably needs remaking. Uh, had a little crash yesterday when I was playing around and bent all this and discovered now that I've also destroyed the bracket underneath. That's why you'll see it's jerking along. But like I said, I'm kind of getting a little tired of playing around with this. I, uh, I did set out to prove a concept. I think I've proved the concept. It needs refining some more, but it is a doable thing. So thanks for hanging in there and watching all of this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. So uh, join me next time and thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye.